Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. I'm back answering more questions from Google in my bid to answer every single scuba diving question that there is on Google. And I think I'm getting close to answering them all. But today I typed in Scuba UK into Google to see what questions popped up. So starting with, where can you scuba dive in the UK? anywhere really uh, as long as you have permission to go diving there obviously i mean i'd stay away from like navy harbors uh shipping lanes and a pond in someone's back garden but we have some fantastic dive sites all around our coastlines and some really great inland dive sites as well if you want to keep it fresh if you want shipwrecks we, we have a bunch of those uh, being an island uh, that was fairly big in the Industrial Revolution and was kind of big into naval battles over the years. We have quite a few shipwrecks outside and in our waters. For more natural stuff, we have kelp forests, uh, seal sanctuaries, coral reefs, believe it or not, uh, dolphins from time to time, sharks and all sorts of things, uh, whatever you want. Um, if caving is your thing, then we have a huge cave diving society with some of them being real key to helping those kids and their teacher out of that flooded cave in Thailand. And if you want some safe places to train, we have a whole bunch of amazing inland diving lakes with shipwrecks and attractions actions inside of them so that you can practice and learn skills in a really safe place and environment with something interesting to actually see whilst you're down there, not just a, a deep puddle. But there are plenty of dive sites on all corners of the UK. What age can you learn to scuba dive? Eight years old is really the very youngest that you can start to learn how to scuba dive. Between the ages of eight to ten years, you can start to learn how the equipment works and how to breathe underwater with an instructor in a swimming pool and practice a few skills. But to actually go diving in open water yourself without an instructor, you need to be ten years old and complete a fundamental course. Ten is usually the first age for diving in open open water, but this is actually an ongoing debate over how old you should be to start to learn how to scuba dive, because some of the subjects and things that you need to physically do can be quite challenging for some 10 year olds, and it may be worth waiting a little while before taking the course. But the general standard for most trading agencies is 10 years old for a, a proper open water qualification. But you can take like, a try dive at eight. Both of which are at the discretion of your instructor though, so just, just have a chat with an instructor. What does BZAC stand for? BZAC is the British Sub Aqua Club. Established in 1953, the British Sub Aqua Club is the national governing body of recreational diving here in the UK. In 54, BZAC opened its very first branch in London and by 55, it had over a thousand dotted all over the country and some were starting to pop up abroad as well. Today, BZAC still teaches new divers how to dive and holds club meetings and trips to keep people diving and just exploring the underwater world, not just here in the UK, but all over the world. BZAC training is nice and gentle. Instead of a couple of intensive days, uh, training can be spread over weeks to gradually build your confidence and your skills in real world scenarios to just build your confidence gradually. It's a slightly different way of learning compared to some others, but it's it's better for some divers and it teaches you more local specific skills and tips that some global courses might not but bzac is the british sub aqua club both a training agency and a dive club to meet and go diving with other scuba divers where can i dive with seals in the uk Diving with seals, uh, my favourite place is the Farne Islands off the northeast coast, uh, just up the coast from Newcastle. There's a nice seal colony up there and there's just lovely diving around there as well. Uh, if you reach the good time of year, you have some really great playful experiences and decent visibility as well. The best time of year is to go when the young seals are just grown up enough to start heading out by themselves. Uh, when they're quite young, they don't tend to venture too far and their parents are quite protective of them, obviously. Um, and when they're too old, then they can just sometimes be a little bit grumpy and as soon as you try and get close to them, they just swim off. But 
I've had amazing dives uh, where even just one inquisitive seal just keeps coming back to uh, to play. So. October time uh, is, is when I usually go. I find it's usually the best time for me. And I've had some yeah, just truly amazing dives with seals around that time of year, getting into the autumn time. Uh, one important thing to remember is that whilst they do act like puppy dogs in the water, they're still very wild animals with quite sharp, crunchy teeth and claws, and they're still holding their breath, uh, unlike you. So give them enough space to go away and do whatever they want to. Don't go chasing after them or hold on to them or whatever. But I found plenty of seals around the Fire Islands who are quite interactive uh, if you want to go diving with seals. Is there a weight limit for scuba diving? No, uh, similar to age, there's no upper limit or anything that will prevent you from scuba diving, but the courses are performance based. And whilst there aren't many like time limits where you must complete a certain skill in a certain amount of time, if you can't complete them in a sensible time, your instructor may not sign you off because it is all about your safety and the safety of others that you're diving with. It is important though to make sure that your heart is in good condition though, because while scuba diving is quite chilled and easy going, it does take some work and heart conditions are one of the big causes of diving fatalities. So it is important to make sure that your heart is in good condition before you go on a dive. But scuba divers, we come in all different shapes and sizes and I've never come across any judgment or anything on a dive boat. As long as you can carry your own gear, you can set it up and go on the dive, then yeah, you can go scuba diving. The best thing though, if you're ever unsure, is just to go on a try dive, um, see how you get on. Your instructor is gonna be right there with you to help you out and if you can manage that, then have a talk with them about the actual course itself and see how you do and maybe organize a diving medical as well with a dive doctor so that they can give you a, a once over and recommendations uh, but no there's no official weight limit for scuba diving if you have any questions that you want me to talk about then by all means pop it down in the comments section below and do be sure to add the ask mark hashtag or i might miss it. Uh, after that, you have a couple of things that you have to do. First, you have to like and subscribe uh, to the Simply Scuba channel if you haven't already. Thanks. Um, once you've done that, you can then head over to our website, simplyscuba.com, where we sell all of the latest scuba diving equipment from our UK and EU warehouses. Uh, that's it for this week. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. And of course, safe diving.